Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I trust you guys are all doing well. I actually haven't filmed in such a long time that this feels really, really weird to me. But um, as you can see in the title down below, it's uh, trying out the new and revisiting the old and it's essentially with makeup. Dwee. So if you'd like to see how I achieved this look, <laughs> then you know what to do. Please do keep watching. So I've got a couple of products here. First thing I'm gonna revisit is this, which was a love of mine. This is the Body Shop Wonder Blur uh, Primer. I used to love this thing so, so much. It is mattifying and it fills in all the pores and it just kind of does the most in terms of Woo! So a palette that I will be revisiting is one that I did a long time ago. If you followed Beauty Corner SA, you will know about this palette. This is the Inglot Freedom System palettes and I basically picked all the colors that are in this palette and kind of want to go with a transition color, which I can't seem to find right now. For a transition color, I am going to jump into my Tarte Toasted palette because it's got a great transition color which is here and it is called Latte. In the crease of my eye, like right there in the crease, I am going to use Cozy. Cozy, just gonna, in circular motions, just put it above my, um, in the crease and slightly above the eyelid. I've got a um, a wet and wild one which I'm going to try out now. This color right here at the corner here it says for brow bone but the thing is I kind of feel like I want to put it in the center of um, my lid. The crease I am going to put just like to darken the area just on the outside. I'm going to take this color here. It's a slightly darker color. And then for concealer, I'm going to be using this and this is the MAC Pro Conceal Palette in medium deep. The other day, I'm actually going to dip my finger. I'm the only one who uses it, so I don't see a problem. I'm going to dip my finger into this corner color up here, which is NC40. And I just like it to um, cover up all the dark spots. And then uh, the love of the day. Nandi asked me to purchase one of the Sorbet foundations and I did. And I purchased this one which is face first and a great foundation not even gonna lie like um i've used it a couple of times and my shade is noisette just in case if you're somebody who's an nc 47 noisette would be a perfect fit for you Then we're gonna go back in with this and I am going to use this middle color here to highlight and this middle color is what NW NC NC42 of which I'm an NC47 as you already know blended in and of course to set the concealer I use the black opal true color soft velvet finishing powder I love it the orange looking one absolutely love it Then while that has happened, I'm then going to grab my, of course, 
setting powder and just set and all the other areas a brow product that i've been using religiously i love it so much this is the rimmel brow this way brow styling gel i normally apply this on after i've done everything else lower lash line I'm gonna go in with this wet and wild one this dark color right here okay and then to contour I'm going to be using I've already started contouring using this NYX ultimate uh, highlight and contour palette get your, get your blush on I picked up the NYX Sweet Cheeks Blush Palette and these are the colors. So pretty. So, so pretty. And I'm thinking with this eye look though, I feel like I want to pop it with that kind of color or the one next to it. Actually, let's do the one next to it today. Moving on to lips. I stole this from my sister. <laughs> because... Uh, my sister and I steal each other's things all the time. And I picked up these Catrice Velvet Matte Lip Pencils. They look so great. I picked up four of them because it's like 50 bucks for one. So I picked up four of them, all in the typical colors that I would put onto my lips. And I took uh, the crushed Bobbi Brown crushed lip color in so Sauzen Nude. So I'm going to line my lips. And then to highlight, I picked up the Maybelline Master Chrome Metallic Highlighter. I had to try it out. I had to try it out. So this is in ooh, Molten Gold. <laughs> la, la, la. Do you see that? Ooh, that is beautiful. Whoa, whoa. Put a little bit too much on my nose. Picked up this one, which is the Maybelline Falsies push up angel but the purple one hi oh my goodness oh my goodness for the first time i'm going to try out the ardell whiskey lashes and as you know applying lashes is not okay so i have officially installed the ardell lashes and keep them safe in this little pouch right here and I actually like them. It's the first time I'm wearing the Demi Wispies. I like them. They don't feel too heavy, which is nice. And of course, the last thing to do is, hey. Absolutely love this look. You guys let me know. Let me know what you think. It's an easy, weekender, flirty, very pinky... And that's the makeup video for today, trying out new makeup and revisiting the old. And yeah, I hope you like it. If you'd like to see more of these, then you know what to do. Holler at a girl and let me know what you want to see. Okay, until the next video, I'll see you soon.